all right, all right, all right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baal Shem, Kakwadash. Double honors always be to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. It's the brother Yahweh coming at you with another lesson to edify and comfort the Lord's elect. So, Lord willing, that this video is edifying, comfort, and exhorting to you believers. All right. And I want to do a quick lesson on how the Lord is about to pass over America with death. As you brothers know, we just commemorate the, uh, a high holy day, you know, a serious high holy day, which is the Passover. And you know the story of the Passover, how the Lord passed over the Israelites, all right, to slew all the Egyptians. And now, this time, the Lord is about to pass over America, all right, which is Babylon the Great. And he's about to bring nothing but death. Not only to these heathens, but to two thirds of his people as well. All right. So we're in serious times. All right. So we're just going to jump right into it. This is Jeremiah 25 and verse 32. This said, the, this said the Lord of hosts, behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation. And a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth one end of the earth even to the other end of the earth that's right man see the lord is about to pass over america with nothing but death from one end of the earth to the next they shall not be lamented neither gathered nor buried they shall be they shall be dung upon the ground that's right man and see that's the time we're coming into where the lord is about to bring nothing but mass judgment here to babylon the greek all right Hey, it's like 8 billion people on the earth, man. All these people are created, you know, and a lot of these people about to die. A lot of these people about to die, man, in these upcoming months. This is 2nd Ezra 9 and verse 15. Started at 14. Then answer, I and said, I have said before, and now do I speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. That's right. Only the limit, the, the elect, the remnant, Salakia, the elect, the remnant is going to be saved. But majority of these people about to die. All right. Two thirds of the nation Israel to be exact. And you heathens, you can count. You can uh, uh, exclude yourself from being saved. All right. So the most high is about to bring judgment upon you heathens and two thirds of his people. All right. But only the elect is created to be saved. Out of Babylon the Great, aka America. All right, in these upcoming times, man, we're living in. All right, because the elect, they truly believe in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. They truly have faith in Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. And, and, and them having faith in Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shah, out of one Ratazah, the Lord is going to protect us from these upcoming destruction. But the rest of you people, you're just going to be fuel for the fire. All right. You're going to be led to the slaughter. This is Ezekiel 9 and verse 5. Matter of fact, start at 4. It says, And he said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of And that word mark goes into the wah, which means exemption from judgment. Those are the ones that's going to be exempt from the upcoming destruction, all right, from the death that's coming to Babylon the Greek. Though the elect, some of the elect is going to die on this side, they're going to be risen up first. All right. So they're going to be saved no matter what, man. You know, the elect would not uh, 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 have to come back into the kingdom of heaven through the, through the alloins of, of, of the ones that make it. No, the elect is going to be the ones that stir. That They're going to be the one that, uh, um, how can I say it? They're going to be the ones that be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. All right. And others, and to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye, go ye after through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. That's right. So two thirds of our people about to die. Majority of you people about to die. All right. So if you don't have that spiritual mark, all right, you don't have that spiritual mark, that faith in your howl, why you howl shot in your howl shot, you're not going to make it, man. All right. You're not going to make it point blank, period. And we finna see the Lord have these spirits created for vengeance rise up more so than ever sending evil angels among you people to terrorize you to torture you 
And ultimately, the Lord is going to rise up Esau coming down, having great wrath among you Israelites, man. All right. See, this is the time we're coming into. And this is a spiritual time, man. Highly spiritual time. All right. Just commemorated the Passover. All right. And as you brothers should know the story about the Passover, the, 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 the Israelites had to put the, uh, the, the lamb's blood on the door and the Lord passed over. But now they have to be they have to mark their doorpost. But now the doorpost is in your mind where the Lord is marking our mind with this wisdom, knowledge, understanding. And that's how we're going to be uh, exempt from judgment. All right. So, you know, I just want to do a quick lesson on that. You know, this highly spiritual times we're coming into, you know. All right. And we're going to see more judgment being brought down. That's how the Lord is going to be known by the judgment. All right. That he executed. Okay. So this is serious times. Now it's time to gird up ourselves. Now it's the time to focus more so than ever. And constantly have this word burning in our mouth. All right. Hey, so with that, Akim, I pray that this lesson was edifying, comfort, and exhorting to you brothers as well as your few sisters that listen and learning. With that, I'm going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, 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 Ba'